Hello, hello, Mana here, and today we are playing The Melting Apartment. This is by the same developer as Don't Let Her In, and is another Game Boy Color Horror game. Another short one, although I believe this one has three to five endings, I'm not 100% on that, but we'll do our best to figure out them all. And uh, yeah, this one looks really good too, and this one came before um, Don't Let Her In, so yeah, but she'll be good. It says, um, a young woman disappears soon after moving into an old building at the edge of town. Can you find out what happened to her and escape with your life? And yeah, I think other than that, we're just going to jump in. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Another missing persons case. So many lately. The parents called it in. Their daughter had just moved in here a couple of weeks ago and they haven't heard from her since. I better remember my gun this time. I think I left it in the glove box. Oh, okay, we got like a cursor. Gordon, I ain't using this thing. Well, ideally you won't have to use it, but you know, best to have it on you. <laughs> you put the gun in your inventory. Okay. Do I have a little cursor? No? Anything else in here? No, all right. Any other clickables? Oh. An exhausted face looks back at you. I'm tired. This job is killing me. Maybe I should just quit. Stay quit? Yeah, quit. What, what? You know, who cares? Retirement. That works. Screw it. I don't need the stress. <laughs> you quit your job. The mystery remains unsolved. Well, there we go. The end. <laughs> okay, I guess that's uh, I guess that's one of the endings. Hmm. All right, that's one down. <laughs> I mean, hey. Oh, right up the top, it's endings one of three. Okay, because I saw like something that kind of sounded like maybe there's five endings, but may it better. I, I think a couple of them might be variants, but they're still different. So we'll try and get everything. But I love it when games that have multiple endings have a counter like that, because, yeah, I just, I appreciate that. Alright, let's, uh, let's head out. Ooh, okay. This looks good. I like it. I'm assuming... I guess this is the apartment. Looking... Looking not great. Can we, like, oh, we can come back out? Okay. It's overflowing with garbage. It smells horrible. I don't know if there's anything else we can check. Can we go in here? Another condemned building. Nothing lost in this city. This is the place. A vacancy sign. That's not surprising. Alright. Oh my. Hello. You must be the detective. I'm the building manager. I run the apartment for the landlady. Wonderful woman. Please, follow me. Helen's apartment is upstairs. I don't, I don't know if I want to follow you. Oh, I, I really, the pixel art for him was pretty great, creepiness aside. <laughs> a man sits there. A man sits there. He won't respond. Okay. Should we bother him more? I feel like the art looks really good, like, for, like, so few pixels, but... Well detailed. Black liquid pools in the corner. It smells like bile? Why do you, why do you, I mean, I'll say why do you know what that smells like, but I guess you're a detective. It's not ideal, but could happen. The basement, it's locked. But yeah, I guess one of the things like, you, you probably hope you never know, you'd, you'd hope to never learn the smell of that as a detective, but it, you know, yeah. <laughs> Every step you take feels wrong. Your feet sink into the stairs. Oh, right. You know, the name of the game, The Melting Apartment, right. Notice from the manager. Please keep quiet after 9pm. That awful girl, ungrateful. Always banging on the walls, screaming and shouting. Good riddance, frankly, the brat. I'm glad she's gone. Now leave me alone. Okay. I should really leave her alone. I agree. 
Add for a local band. Eh, Ibon? Oh, Ribbon and the Hemlocks. I've heard these guys are awful. <laughs> Oh, at least you've heard of them, eh? You know. Notice from the man. Oh, right. I read that one. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, cool. Please, you have to get me out of here. I can't stand it anymore. I don't know why I said that. I love it here. You should go. She. She needs. I. I need to rest. Oh, okie dokie. That's normal. Here is poor Helen's apartment. You're welcome to speak to her neighbors, but don't push them. We're upset after her disappearance. Such a waste. Oh, that's him. I, I thought that was a lamp. Debris is piled up in the corner. Yes, I've chatted to the neighbors. Ooh, liking the music. The stench of rot overwhelms you. Hmm. A dinner table, absolutely filthy. Okay. The wall appears to be leaking. Oh, great. The window is jammed shut. It won't open. The couch is covered in mold. The TV static plays endlessly. What is this? It's a good question. Family photos. The girl in them looks sad. Alrighty. Oh, bathroom, huh? A hole has been dug into the wall. It looks like the wall is bleeding. I like that it drops away the text so you can see like the full like uh, artwork before it exits. It's good. Like you have to click again before it uh, goes away type of thing. That's good. It's like a little thing, but yeah. The bathtub is overflowing with a black tar-like substance. Even if I need to go, there's no way I'd use this. Hmm. That's a pretty big bedroom. Okay, got the clicky back. The photo is ruined. Impossible to make out the image now. This must be Helen's diary. Um, 17th of January, 1973. Moving in took forever. Nobody offered to help me move in. Some friends I've got. Thanks, guys. 18th of January, 1973. Seriously? I just move in and now the walls are leaking? This place sucks. 19th. My front door is jammed. I can't open it. I tried calling the manager, but the phone doesn't work anymore. This place sucks. 20th. I'm freaking out. I woke up and this gross shit is dripping into my mouth. I don't feel good. I need to get out. I don't know what to do. 22nd. Fuck this. I'm getting out of here one way or another. 30th. I'm so scared. Somebody help me. I can barely move. I feel so weak. It's hard to write. I think I'm gonna die here. I hear someone talking to me. A strange black liquid begins pouring from the ceiling. The liquid burns through your skin. You need to find a way out fast. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Oh, we took Helen's diary with us. Interesting. Okay, uh, I mean, do we just like go, go, go? Door's locked. I need to find some way out of here. I mean, the window sounds good. The window is jammed shut. It won't open. Oh, I have a, I have a blasty solution. I have no reason to use this now. You have every reason to use this now. What? The window is covered with mold. It's jammed shut. I have a blasting machine right here. No? Oh, you're fucked. The wall appears to be leaky. I mean, if you ain't gonna use a blaster on a shut window when you're like 
trapped and there's like burning black liquid coming from a roof, like, you know. Like some people ain't just meant, ain't meant to survive. The bed is stained with mold. I mean, what, like, how about, really? Uh, okay. You put the axe in your inventory. I mean, I, I feel like this is a, you know, better options. You equip the axe. You broke down the door with the axe. I mean, I guess it works, but, you know. You broke down the door with the axe. No response. No response. Oh, I can go down the basement. Oh. Hello? Oh. You found us. I did. Would you like to meet her? The landlady? Ah, uh, I should use my gun. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Oh, oh. Did that work? Is that a win? He's dead, good. I think this should be, I think this used to be Helen. Poor kid. The fire ranges in the gaping moor. What the hell is this thing? Okay. I wonder, oh, I wonder, well, wait, what's this? The bed is covered in blood. Helen? I'm starting to wonder if, like, maybe, I wonder if we can get out now, but maybe we couldn't before. A black cancerous heart is locked in a glass case. There's a key latch on the side. We, you know, we have a gun and an axe. Why are we... I mean, come on. Seriously. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if we wouldn't have been able to go out the door, but maybe we had to kill them and now it's going to be open or something. You notice something behind the painting. Shootout gone wild. Oh, must be a fan. I should put this back. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Uh, I mean, is there like a... He found a journal in the desk drawer. I hear her. She's speaking to me. She wants more food. I have to feed her. She needs more. She's beautiful. She needs to eat. You reach the end of the journal. There's a hidden key. You put the key in your inventory. A picture of a happy man. Is this the photo of the manager? A new tenant, a new tenancy agreement for Helen's old apartment. So we found another victim. Okay. I'm gonna guess we have to kill this heart to kill the building or something. Do I need to equip the key? Gotcha. Unlock the cage, put the heart in your inventory. Uh, can I, you know, axe plus heart? You equip the heart, okay. Can I smash it on the table? Um, oh, maybe I gotta burn it. That could work. You throw the heart in the fire. Should I, should I leave?
The building goes up in flames. You drive away, uncertain if you did any good. You tell yourself those people were already lost. Okay, that, okay, the end burn. <laughs> uh, right. I guess that was like main ending number two, but I feel like there was a couple of different ways that could have went. Um, Cause like, yeah. I, I guess first off, let's see what happens in the basement if we die, basically. Oh, I guess before that, let's just see if we can actually leave. You can leave, but you have a feeling there's more to uncover. No, I'm good. Oh, wait, no, I'm good. I'm good. You leave without solving the case. I mean, at the point when everything gets weird and like black stuff starts dripping from the roof that burns to your skin, I think that's a fair point to leave. You know, that doesn't mean you have to like leave it there. Like that's when you bring in like hazmat or something. <laughs> Is it better this way? I, yeah, for us, yeah. I'd say so. The end, leave. Oh, that was actually like a main, oh no. Yeah, see, that's probably a good example then, right? So there's only three endings, but that was counted as a leave ending. But that was way different than when we left at the beginning. Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll keep going until we get like all the endings, which I would say is more than three, but because I mean a variant is still a different ending to me but I, I get it yeah oh I didn't realize these were doors here oh so there might be a couple more people we can talk to okay I'll have to try that next time okay but all right this time we'll just see what happens if we die okay bring it on I think and why are you crawling away it makes it so much more weird I just use my gun eh, it's probably fine Seems friendly enough. You're attacked by the manager. You can't take much more damage. Oh, so you got more than one chance. You have succumbed to your wounds. The manager feeds on your corpse. You have died. Ah. You died eating. Ah. Is that an end or just a... Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I... Oh, no, that's because I, I cry. Sorry. Okay, that makes sense. I used the save stake, so I didn't have to, like, you know, replay everything. So the endings have gone backwards now, which... Actually... Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Maybe the other one was a different ending. I'm pretty sure there are variants though, so what I said still applies, but I don't know if, yeah. No, that must have been an ending then, separate from the normal leave. Okay, so that's my mistake on that one, but I'm still pretty sure there is more variants, so yeah. Okay, I, I forgot about that side of things with save states. Ah, okay. Let's, um, what do we do next? We'll go see what the other two doors are, I guess. Because I assume there's probably other people. We'll do that. Then we'll try... Um... Something. Okay, let's check these two doors then. Please, take my baby. Please, get her out of here. I'm sorry. You should go. I'm fine now. Okay. There, there's like more than one of them that do that. Like... It's... Yeah, there's like some sort of... I don't know, like a psychological component? I don't really know. It's weird. Cause they, they, it's like they know they want to leave, but then they kind of just, it was like with her. She just kind of stayed there, even though she was saying she's out. But then there's not, they, there's no, impl there's nothing to imply she was physically stopped. But then, and like with these, they can open the door and talk to me, could walk straight out, but then they just kind of, but they must like know, right? They, they know they want to leave, they're not, like, because she has enough, like, awareness about that, that she's trying to give us her baby type of thing. Uh. My mum isn't here. She's gone. 
Mom always said not to talk to strangers. You're a stranger. I don't like it here. I want to come back. I want my mom to come back. Unfortunately, I can't help with that one, bud. Hmm, okay, well, I think that's everyone. Okay, so I'm curious if anything happens if we just kind of stay here. Um, like, maybe we'll knock down the door. But then we'll just kind of, like, hang around? Because it felt like there was some urgency to, like, leaving. With the ceiling stuff, but... I don't know if there's, like, anything else we can do in here. Overflowing with acid, you can't go into the room. That, that seems reasonable. But yeah, I don't know if anything happens if we just kind of chill. Maybe watch some telly. The acid is pouring down the window. You need to get out. Eh. It's probably fine. Acid smashed. Oh. The acid burned through your skin. Nothing is left except bone. You have died. <laughs> ah. That, that happened faster than I was expecting, actually. <laughs> Okay, I guess, um, you know, I guess two of these are deaths, ne I mean, maybe, yeah, because the last death we had, like, in the basement, that actually was, like, when I started talking about the endings being one to three because of save state stuff, that meant that didn't count as an ending, because my save state was after our first time where we just left, um, but when we left, um, not going down to the basement, that did go up to two out of three, that was running off that same one but when we just died in the basement we came back to get as one three and just then it was one three so even though the deaths are like those were like two distinct kind of death endings i would call them they are just treated as deaths and not endings which I, which does make sense um but i feel like with the way they are i would kind of treat them as endings personally still though um I think that must mean we have... Wait, so do we have... Have we figured them all out? I guess we have. Yeah. Because it was leaving straight away, which was an ending. There's leaving without going down to the basement. And then there's the one where you actually leave after burning down the building. Yeah, so I guess we actually do have the three main endings. And we've had two distinct deaths. So I, I think that might actually be everything. Um, the only other thing, I don't know if... Um, what would happen if we went down to the basement, killed it, but then we left without actually going in and getting the heart? Let's try that just in case. Okay, that is dead. Let's, uh, let's see what happens when we leave now. Also, wait, are they still here? Like... Oh! God, what happened to him? A good question. But, we killed it. Uh, let's, uh, let's head out. You can leave, but you have a feeling there's more to uncover. Eh! It's probably fine. This might be the same as the other one. You leave without solving the case. Is it better this way? Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Well, I think that is it for the melting apartment. We got uh, three ends plus two unique deaths. And this was, uh, this was pretty good. I'd say it is a bit bigger, I feel like, in scope, say, than... Because uh, I wasn't really sure about that originally, other than knowing there's more... Um, endings than um, Don't Let Her In. But yeah, this was definitely a bigger project. Um, I would love to see more from this developer in, in the Game Boy Color. I was going to say style, but no, it is for the Game Boy Color. Um, it also makes me feel like there was a huge... Because um, I, I, maybe there's ones I don't know about, but like... It, it makes me feel like there could have actually been some genuine, like, interesting um, horror experiences for the Game Boy Color. Like, it's... Yeah. Some creativity goes a long way with this type of thing. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, this is really cool. Um, and it definitely feels like if I'd played... Like, it wouldn't have surprised me if... Um, Don't Let Her Inc. came first. Because this feels like a big step up. 
Um, but I guess it was more just a project scope type of difference. Um, but yeah, this was just really cool. Like it's just, it's just, um, yeah. Um, like it stands out being Game Boy Color, but it, even if it wasn't and it was just built in a modern engine in this style, it would still be just as good. I feel like it just sort of adds a cool factor, I guess, or whatever being Game Boy Color and working specifically with the more hard limitations of that. But I feel like just as a very simplistic, uh, short style thing, like it works really well anyway. And yeah, just, just a really cool project. Uh, I definitely hope to see more. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I have too much to say. I, I just like it. It's just, it's just cool. Um, very weird one again, unlike the other, um, a bit more contained than the other one. Not to spoil anything from that, I guess. So, sort of. I, yeah, anyway, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I... Yeah, I mean, you suppose you could theorize about the apartment or something. Like, I don't know what, like some supernatural thing haunted. I, I don't know. Um, some weird stuff going on with, like, them wanting to leave, but then not wanting to, but then sort of having some awareness about it, like with her wanting us to take out the baby and stuff. So, definitely something weird there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. let me know what you guys thought. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys know of anything else like this. So, uh, definitely, like I said, very cool project. I, I, I hope to see more. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just glad I ran into it. Alright, be well. Thank you again. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in something else soon. Bye bye.